Victor, purpose. The purpose of this experiment is to practice the presenting force vector graphically and mathematically, decomposing resolving force vector into components, finding the resultant force vector, adding vector graphically and mathematically. Equipment, force table experimental setup, force table simply with the center post and three data cable legs, three super poly clams, three mass hangers, plastic ring, spool of third. Scalars and vectors. Scalar quantity has only magnitude. A vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. A scalar quantity like length, area, volume, speed, mass, density, pressure, temperature, energy, work, power. And the example of vector quantity is displacement, velocity, acceleration, momentum, force, drag, force, weight, velocity. Theory. There are several ways to find the sum of the two forces and the power of equilibrium. One, practically using a force table. Two, mathematically. Three, graphically. Hang two different masses of the force table over two pulleys. Adjust the angle between the two strings by moving the pulleys and fix the angle to certain values. Theta one equals zero and C to 2 equal 90. Measure from the positive axis counterclockwise. Hang third masses on the third pulley by terror and error. Chain the masses pending on the third pulley and the ankle of the third string by moving the pulley until the ring at the middle of the force table is balanced. The force by third masses will balance the force exerted on the ring by the two other masses. Make sure the center of ring is at the center force table. In this arrangement, the ring is said to be equilibrium under the effect of the three forces. Record the value of the masses. Use the calculate magnitude of three forces. And F equal mg. Record the angles the three string make with the positive axis counterclockwise as shown in the force table. On graphing paper, draw coordinate system, then draw the three forces using vectors such that the length of each vector is proportional to the magnitude of corresponding force and pointing in the same direction. Record your value in the table, forces, magnitudes, and angles with the positive x-axis counterclockwise. Calculate the component of three vectors and draw them as well on the same plot. Fill the value of their component in the table. Note that the sign of each component should reflect the direction. It is a good exercise to recalculate the component using angles other than the angle with the positive x-axis. Calculate the mathematical sum of the three vectors in vector forms and calculate the magnitude and direction. What is the sum of the vectors? What is they are expected? Discuss this in the result and discussion part. On separate graphing paper, add the three vectors graphically as explained in the theory part. Measure the length of the net vector, resultant vector, using a rural and its direction angle. Using proctor, what is the value of the net force? Is it consistent with the mathematical sum? When Newton force now on poly 2 here of this also apply on Newton force. That is we have keep now. So when Newton here on Newton here, there's two forces pulling the ring that side, okay? So we have to bring the ring in the center to the premium position. For that, we have applied some forces here on pulley so that it will balance these two forces first all at this position because it is looking for me, this line is not passing through the middle, so the angle should be here. First, we will adjust its angle. Roughly, this is a third and error method. 
Okay, so that is looking nice. This position, I am facing the position around 2220 like this. Now apply some mass on it. We'll start with 100 grams. So one Newton force is applied now. Look here. So it now pulsing these two force. This one, so we have to apply more force, more masses. So 100 is already kept, uh, kept. keep 150, that is at 50 gram more, yes. So it more now, okay. This force is pulling the ring to the this side. So decrease, remove 50 and keep 40 and check. So 20. This is the magnitude of this balancing force. This is the balance in force. So from the force table, we find this one, the balancing force. Our experiment from this balancing force, we have to find resultant force. Resultant force. Resultant of these two forces. So resultant of these two forces lies between somewhere here. We know very well that when is zero 90 degree one is at zero degree one is at 90 degree and they are equal one newton in this case obviously the resultant will be in middle 45 degree that we know it okay that's okay so what uh, so about this one this is the palacing force okay let's convert this palacing force into the resultants very easy we get to magnitude force equal to 1.43 newton so the same magnitude it will have the resultant force which is here the direction just you subtract whatever the number is 20 25 minus 180 degree here exactly opposite so here the pulsing force is acting from here to here this side where the resultant force will be acting here this way opposite the balance this 180 degrees so here at 45 degree this is the resultant these two force From first table experiment, they is poly 1 and poly 2 and poly 3. Poly 1 mass is 100, force F1 equal 1, and angle theta 1 degree equal 0. Poly 2 mass equal 100, and force equal 1 newton, and, and angle equal 90 degree. Poly 3 mass is 143 gram, and force 1.43 newton and angle is 225. 
Magnitude of resultant force F equal F3 equal 1.43 Newton. Direction of resultant force theta equal theta equal theta 3 minus 180 degree equal 225 minus 180 0 80 equal 45 degree. From component method addition, we are get out S component and Y component. For F component, FYX equal 1, F2X equal 0, FX is equal 1. And on the Y component, FY1 equal 0, and F2 equal Y equal 1, and FY equal 1. Magnitude of resultant force F equal F2 X squared plus F Y square equal 1 2 square plus 1 2 square equal 1.414 Newton. And the direction of resultant force equal theta time minus F Y F Y over X equal time minus 1 1 over 1 equal 45 degree. Data and calculation. Complete this table from the data above and show assemble details, calculation of the component, calculation of the results on force, some force or the net force, also magnitude and the direction of angle. And also there the table, graphical sum of vector, show a graph, a graphing paper. Calculate the mathematical sum, use cosine law of the two vectors in a vector form and calculate magnitude and direction. What is the sum of vectors? What is the value you accepted? Discuss this in the result and discussion part. Example of vector components. Finding the components of vector for vector addition involves forming a right triangle from each vector. The vector sum can be found by combining these components and converting to polar form. Polar from example. After finding the components for the vectors A and B and combining them to find the components of the result, vector R, the result can be put in polar form. Graphical method. A vector quantity can be represented graphically by an arrow, with its length proportional to the magnitude of the quantity. We choose suitable drawing scale. Let it be 50 gram represent one centimeter. We start drawing the first vector and then second vector at the same angle. We take the protractor angle 10. Now use the protractor to get the angle. Place the center point at the bottom of this protractor on the vertex of the angle. Line up on the right side of the angle with the zero degree mark of the protractor. On this protractor, the zero mark is the bottom edge of the protractor. Read the degree where the other ray of the angle across the protractor. The angle shown at the right is 60 angle. All ray of the angle lies on the bottom edge of the protractor. The zero take mark at the right and the angle opens up from the ray and use ruler to complete the triangle and the last line present the resultant. Take the lengths by ruler and multiply the lengths by 50 to get out the value of resultant. After completing the triangle, we get out the value of forces corresponding the lines. The first, we measure all the lines. The first line equals 3 cm and the value of F1 equals 3 multiple by 50 grams equals 150 grams. Second line 
equal 5 centimeter and F2 equal 5 multiple pi 50 gram get out the value of F2 equal 250 grams and the resultant of this triangle is equal 7.3 centimeter then multiple pi 50 grams get out the value of the resultant 365 gram and also we calculate the value of degree the direction of degree theta equal 180 plus 331.5 plus 10 get out the theta equal 221.5 degrees.